smells great. How do you like it? Isn't it Ooh, that is really very nice. Tell, her, tell everybody where our guest is. This He's is nutty doll. What are they talking about now? Oh, this is fun. This is cologne for the men. This is truly the gift of the 90s, <laughs> as opposed to the 80s, when everybody had money and drove fancy cars. This is cologne for the man who used to have everything. <laughs> the perfect gift. Joining us is the inventor of recession cologne, Alan Salzbeck. And there you see some of the recession right on the uh, store counters. Alan, well, you're a nut. Yeah, I think so. How did you go, the eau de cologne, by the way, O-W-E, right. from options trading to the perfume business, Alan? Yep. How did this happen and where did you get the idea? And by the way, we're talking, we're talking cologne because you're here, Alan, but we're talking about anybody in our audience across America trying to introduce a new product. Mm -hmm. Okay, so where did you get the idea and how did you get started? Well, I work on Wall Street, which may say enough. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> things were a little slow at the end of last year. Um, this idea came to me one night and uh, I thought of recession cologne and then the pieces just fell together. The economy stinks. You shouldn't have to. You check his trading records, Dory. If his trading records went down very badly one day, that's when he was thinking about that's it. Right, that's right. <laughs> Where did all these marketing ideas come from? I want to share a couple of the lines that have been used with this. Most economists can't smell it until the bottle's almost empty. In other words, the economy and the economists are all saying, no, there's no recession out that's there. Right. Where did that come from? From yeah, you or that's from, from me also. Um, the line that you opened with came from my publicist. Uh, but the uh, rest of it is me. One night in the middle of the night, most of this stuff came to me. And yes. is it true that recession cologne is not available in Washington, D.C.? No, no. It's, it's available throughout the country at an 800 number. Alan, uh, at Salt Bank, this almost didn't get started. We're looking now at the packaging that which, where you can get it in the stores around America, the recession, a little bit of a chart down there. But this is not the package that you started off with to begin. No, not at all. Uh, no. We're going to flash up what it looked like. And you took, there, there it is. You That's took the it. old one. Yeah, was that too, too negative? Uh, no, that was the, uh, the problem with that is we did that in our basement, and um, those are just labels that we printed at a local print shop and pasted them onto What did that cost bottles. you to do? Uh, less than $1,000 uh, to produce 350 I think. Well, where, where did you get, I mean, this is pretty darn good perfume, where did, yeah. whose is this? Did you mix it? Uh, no, we didn't, no. Okay. Uh, we thought about using tequila originally, we yeah. in case things got really bad, you could drink it. <laughs> but, uh, well, you know, back in the 20s, the people were still doing it. What's the biggest mistake you made? What can we learn from this, from your success? I think the biggest mistake we made, clearly, is that we didn't uh, anticipate the tremendous response we'd get for this. Uh, we didn't have it distributed nationwide. It was only available at a couple of stores. You almost undershot it. Did oh, absolutely. So what you initially did was you were, you were creating a joke for the guys right. down on the trading That's floor. Right. And the joke was on you. Absolutely. Now, why did the, the packaging go from the arrow headed south no. to this very uh, well, we went precise nifty Very shot. She -she. We went into one store. Uh, we wanted to add a touch of class to the touch of humor in mm -hmm. it. Um, w the original packaging, uh, we didn't uh, we didn't expect anything to come from that. I figured I'd just give these away or you know. It's a fun. They got gay gifts, right? A yeah, client sure. or what have you. Yeah. And um, what happened was a department store downtown Manhattan brought out our entire supply. Which one did the only one? Uh, this was Century Twenty One store. Of course. And. Um, they bought our entire supply. I said, hey, we might have something. So I contacted Elliot Freeman, um, who's my partner in this, mm -hmm. and he did Hey, Elliot! Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Elliot. Uh, he, did a lot, he did all the legwork, pretty much, to get the boxing people and the bottle people together. Now, where can you buy it, Elliot? Uh, it's available through an 800 number now, okay. nationwide. Mm -hmm. and we were selling a lot of this stuff to California, Isn't Canada. Uh, amazing. Is it getting to be enough of a business that you could consider? Now, you may not, because you may love trading options, I but it might be, right? I love trading up. So, really so to you, it wouldn't be a full-time business. I don't. I mean, it could be a full-time business, a full-time company, but not for you. I don't. I don't think so. It will give him the ability to be more risky in his option trading because you'll have a little <laughs> maybe, nice maybe. nest egg to fall back <laughs> now on. Now I could lose it, and I have to worry about it so much. <laughs> That's right. Give us uh, the three things you learned going through this whole exercise, uh, or any other people that have an idea out there. Well, first of all, do it. Uh, whatever you have you an idea, do it. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. If, if you've got an idea, this was simple. This came to me. Uh, Elliot helped quite a bit, and Elliot's going to turn this into a big business, I think. That's true. Um, we uh, we went out and packaged this uh, rudimentary type of thing down in the basement, and uh, it just spread like wildfire. So if you do it, you're going to get encouragement from other people, and they're going to make you do it the right way. What are your phone number, Daria? All right, we'll, we'll do that. If you would like to order 
some very, very <laughs> masculine, wonderful cologne. Here's the number right now. 800, I can't see you, you go ahead and do it. 866-1885. <laughs> That's right. For those of you who are in the to toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Mark.